Diciamida, or Rhombiza, is a phylum of tiny parasites that live in the renal appendages of cephalopods. Although the name of Diciamida precedes Rhombiza in usage, and is preferred by most contemporary authors, Rhombiza still enjoys much popular support. Taxonomy Classification is controversial. Traditionally, diciamids have been grouped with the orthonectida and the mesiza. However, molecular phylogenies indicate that diciamids may be more closely related to the roundworms. The phylum is not divided in classes, but contains three families, conociamidae, diciamidae, and cantharellidae. Molecular evidence suggests that this phylum are derived from the Lophotrochiza. Anatomy Adult diciemas range in length from 0.5 to 7 mm, and they can be easily viewed through a light microscope. They display hugely, a condition in which each adult individual of a given species has the same number of cells, making cell number a useful identifying character. Diciamida lack respiratory, circulatory, excretory, digestive, and nervous systems. The organism's structure is simple. A single axial cell is surrounded by a jacket of 20 to 30 ciliated cells. The anterior region of the organism is termed a calotta and functions to attach the parasite to folds on the surface of its host's renal appendages. Life cycle. Diciemids exist in both asexual and sexual forms. The former predominate in juvenile and immature hosts, and the latter in mature hosts. The asexual stage is termed an emetogen. It produces vermiform larvae within the axial cell. These mature through direct development to form more nematogens. Nematogens proliferate in young cephalopods, filling the kidneys. As the infection ages, perhaps as the nematogens reach a certain density, vermiform larvae mature to form rhombogens, the sexual life stage, rather than more nematogens. This sort of density-responsive reproductive cycle is reminiscent of the asexual reproduction of sporocysts already in larval trematode infections, of snails. As with the trematode asexual stages, a few nematogens can usually be found in older hosts. Their function may be to increase the population of the parasite to keep up with the growth of the host. Rhombogens contain hermaphroditic gonads developed within the axial cell. These gonads, more correctly termed infusorogens, self-fertilize to produce infusoriform larvae. These larvae possess a very distinctive morphology, swimming about with ciliated rings that resemble headlights. It has long been assumed that this sexually produced infusoriform, which is released when the host eliminates urine from the kidneys, is both the dispersal and the infectious stage. The mechanism of infection, however, remains unknown, as are the effects, if any, of diciemids on their hosts. Some part of the diciemid life cycle may be tied to temperate benthic environments, where they occur in greatest abundance. While diciemids have occasionally been found in the tropics, the infection rates are typically quite low, and many potential host species are not infected. Diciemids have never been reported from truly oceanic cephalopods, who instead host a parasitic ciliate fauna. Most diciemid species are recovered from only one or two host species. While not strictly host-specific, most diciemids are only found in a few closely related hosts.